Okay, well, I mean, can you maybe just start um, when you when you saw what you saw in the preseason pitching defense. Right. Like, how different for, was that from what you saw this last week? <laughs> uh, entirely different. Um, you know, we have prided ourselves on throwing strikes and playing good defense, and and we've seen that. I mean, it, you know, we've only been outside for a scrimmage probably a couple different times, but we played good defense in the scrimmages and through strikes in the scrimmages and um, you know so it was a bit surprising um, you know to and, I, and those two things often go hand in hand honestly it's just the the tempo of the game are we throwing strikes are we eliminating the free bases on the mound and um, you know defensively we need to do a better job of picking the pitchers up and vice versa. Was it something that like, kind of snowballed on itself a little bit as the weekend kind of went on you um, I wouldn't say that I just think they took advantage of every mistake that we made. I mean, they did what good teams do. Um, you give them an inch, they take a mile. And I think that's kind of what we saw uh, this weekend was ran into a good team, well coached, uh, knew they would be. Um, and, you know, they, they made more plays than we did. And, and you know, they got the, the results they wanted. How do you sort of, I guess, reconcile the difference between preseason and what happened? Was that just getting outside opening <clears throat> weekend? Was that something else? I think it's just you know, trying to break in a new team against an, another opponent that's, that's you know, got similar goals that you do. And, um, again, it's certain things that you don't necessarily learn about your team until you get in the fire. And, um, you know, we, we saw some things that were surprising, but it's, you know, it's not going to define who we are as a team. I mean, that's kind of the message that, that we've, we've talked about. It's like, hey, we, we're going to learn from it and, and make the adjustments necessary to, to move on. And I, I anticipate that happening. Have you have the guys kind of responded the right way? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We've only had one practice since we got back, but it was turn the page, move on. You know, it was again we're we're trying to become a, the best consistent version of ourselves, and um, you know we're that that's the point that we've got to get to, and we need to figure that out sooner rather than later. Which area was most surprising to you that didn't show up? Defense. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that that part of it is what we hang our hats on, and we've been really good at. Um, and there's really not been any signs of, you know, going into the year that it was going to be an issue. So that part of it was probably the most surprising. Um, and the starting pitching, I guess, you know, just not really giving us, you know, a whole lot of quality innings. But, um, you know, again, hitting's hard. And, you know, some guys have a little jitters at times when it comes to some things, the opening weekend, and that's part of it. Um, but, yeah, I'd say defensively that's probably, you know, that's the most frustrating part, the fundamentals, you know, just not taking care of the ball. What do you think about the level of competition you got this coming weekend? Yeah, it's not going to get any easier. I mean, they're um, you know they're always a national program. Um, they reload every year. They they're extremely well coached. They have a new head coach, uh, but he's been there and been architect of their cultural series teams. And um, I I have a ton of respect for how they play the game and how they go about it. And um, so yeah, it's going to be a, another really big challenge. It's something I know our guys are excited about, and we get to play in a big league ballpark and. Uh, let's hope Mother Nature doesn't shut down Texas uh, while we're while we're down there. I know Colby was kind of a bright spot this week, and I know you've talked about him being able to battle back. Was, how nice was it just to see that kind of you know manifest itself? So yeah, I mean it was awesome. I mean what a great story. Um, you know, just honestly picked up a bat about six or eight weeks ago again, and um, you know just seeing him healthy on the mound and competing, and uh, you know just not overthinking it. Just it was a lot of fun to see him back out there. Put the same rotation. Uh, yeah. First three this week. Yeah, the first three guys will be the same in that order. Um, I expect those guys to have a good bounce back. Was yeah. it nice to get some of those younger guys out on the bump uh, this past weekend? Yeah, I mean, four game series, we figured that we'd we'd see pretty much all hands on deck. So um, had some guys had their first first collegiate outings and kind of get the nerves out of the way, and and uh, it was good to to do that again against a, a quality opponent in a in a tough environment. Any update on Jake and how he's? Yeah, Jake, it's not good news on him. He's unfortunately looks like he's going to have something that keeps him out. So season season. Yeah, it's going to be a it's going to be a long-term injury. Yep. How's that, how's Jack Style coming along? I know he was someone you guys liked at first base too. Didn't really see him this weekend. Is he yeah, in the plans as well? For sure. Yeah. I mean, he's he's just like everybody else on our team and ready at any moment's notice. So he's working hard and um, you know, he's, he's squarely in the mix. I mean, he found himself on, you know, at first base at the end of the game when Colby was on the mound, and so he'll, he'll get his opportunities. What do you say to a guy like, like Jake who's been through some stuff before, obviously? You know? Yeah, I mean, it's hard. It's, it's difficult. Um, 
you know, just going through it, you know, a couple different times with, with an injury again is something that Colby's dealt with and, you know, maybe he can look to that and see that, hey, I can, I can come back. Um, Jake's a baseball player, you know, he wants to, he wants to play baseball. And so I think he's going to do what it takes to, to get back and um, have a great attitude. He's been through it once before and, you know, just come back better than ever, but it's tough. I mean, it's a difficult thing. I mean, I just told him I love him, gave him a, gave him a hug and said, hey man, like we're going to, we'll get through it. So. What's the what's the key for, for stopping the run? TCU I know likes to be aggressive on the base paths. What's, what's get the leadoff off hitter? <laughs> yeah, like we didn't do a very good job of that this past weekend either. So uh, get the leadoff hitter um, again, just uh, mixing up your timing, uh, those type of things, and and don't get into too much, too much of a rhythm. I mean, you also don't want it to take away from your conviction on your pitch. So that's the that, that's the point of the pressure run game is to try to take your attention off the hitter. So we've got to be cognizant of we got to go get the hitter and trust that you know our timing and looks and those type of things are going to be um, where they need to be to, to slow that running game down. We got a great catcher that you know is really one of the best catch and throw guys in the country. Well, what is the exact injury for Jake? Uh, it's still it's speculative right now. I, we don't have a definitive answer, but it, it's nothing that he's going to be able to come back from this year. And what does this schedule look like for you guys this week, especially with the uh, time you're playing in the big league ballpark? Yeah, so we'll head out tomorrow. Uh, we'll be able to practice down there, kind of get used to the field tomorrow night, and uh, you know we'll get going. I know there's maybe a couple of other teams that are actually going to play in the ballpark uh, because of the inclement weather down there. They're, they're adding some games, so won't change what we're doing. But... Uh, I mean, it's going to be exciting. I mean, when this was on the schedule, just knowing that you know you're in a big league, brand new ballpark, and you're going to play because the there's a roof over it, and uh, it'll be a great environment. I think we'll have a really good contingency of Husker fans down there too. Coach, what did you think of uh, Jessen's performance over the series? Yeah, one of the definite bright spots of the weekend, and uh, you know I wouldn't say that I expected him to hit 700 or whatever it was, but uh, certainly a guy that we knew. Has had a good swing, um, doesn't really overcomplicate things, just kind of takes what the pitcher gives him. And it was cool to see that as a freshman to come in and, and step right up and do that. He came off the bench and got a couple of hits in a game. And, um, you know, I, he was, it was an impressive weekend for him.